Well, the fallout escalating over that New York Times report claiming that Russia offered Taliban-linked militants bound bounties to kill American soldiers uh, it continues, but while the White House denies that the president knew about the intel report prior to publication, questions still remain over how the intel community handled raw data over the alleged scheme. The White House briefed some key Republican lawmakers on this yesterday, and one of those lawmakers joins us now. Andy Biggs is an Arizona congressman and chair of the House Freedom Caucus. Good to see you, Congressman. Thanks for being here. Uh, before we get to that meeting yesterday, Joe Biden has come out today in his first uh, press conference in about 100 days, close to it anyway. He said that it is dereliction of the president's duties whether or not he knew about the intel report or not. If he knew about it and did nothing, that's dereliction. And if he didn't know about it, it's dereliction because he didn't know about it. What do you say? I say that that's the most convoluted rationale I've ever heard. Look, the president did not, was not briefed on this, neither was the vice president, neither was the chief of staff, neither was the DNI. And the reason was, as a career intelligence agent, looked at it and said, we've got some conflicting information here. Uh, we want to check the veracity of it. We want to make sure it's good intel. In and why is that? It's because this is such a serious uh, allegation. Um, if it is real, then we're going to have to take some action. And so you don't want to provide dubious or discredited information that, or information that turns out later to be discredited, because then you would have acted on it and created an international incident. That for Joe Biden to say that is actually reckless and irresponsible, because just the New York Times piece coming out has really caused this harm and he doesn't help matters when he makes those kind well, of let me let me actually quote uh, the CIA director Gina Haspel who spoke to that point of, of, of what the leak might have done she said preliminary force protection information is shared throughout the national security community and with US allies as part of our ongoing efforts to ensure the safety of coalition forces overseas leaks compromise and disrupt the critical interagency work to collect assess and ascribe culpability. She's saying that our national security was harmed as a result of this leak. How do you plan to figure out who, who leaked it? Well, uh, I've, I've requested and I think that, uh, that they're going to have some, the Department of Justice and others investigate this because a leak is a serious thing here because what happens is if you have sources giving you information, good or bad, or you're working through, through uh, intelligent sources, and a leak comes out, guess what? Those sources roll up and they're not available anymore. And you keep our folks in harm's way, we can't even assess the actual threat. That's the shame on, uh, on the leaker, shame on the New York Times for publishing it, shame on Joe Biden for making those allegations. Yeah. It's, it's real, it's real Hey, Congressman, here. very quickly uh, to switch topics to the COVID relief bill, another COVID relief bill that some people are talking about, particularly Nancy Pelosi. Are we gonna continue to pay people an extra minimum wage that that actually rises to more than the average wage when you I mean you, you look at all the folks out on the street whether they're protesting or whatever and you you figure out well they're there because they're getting paid to be there yeah Nancy Pelosi if she has her way she said that she wants to extend it and actually increase the pay through next spring in reality, um, it may go away uh, November 4th, the day after the next election. Yeah, I think that's the day that's more important for, for her. Yes. After that, uh, you know, she may be uh, willing to compromise. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you very much for coming in today. Appreciate it. Thanks, David. And as